The minority leader in parliament, Honorable Haruna Idrisu, has raised concerns over procedures laid down by the Electoral Commission of Ghana ahead of its mass registration exercise for the new voters register, saying he feels troubled for the future of Ghana's democracy. The Member of Parliament for Tamale South explained passionately at the parliamentary press briefing held shortly after the EC chair briefed the subsidiary legislation committee of Parliament over modalities put in place for the new voters register. Honorable Idrisu expressed worry at the EC's decision to reduce the number of registration centers from 33,000 to 6,300. He said the move is a violation of the Article 42 of Ghana's constitution. I feel profoundly troubled in my heart for the future of Ghana's democracy. And I feel disappointed that in her answers to questions at the committee level, she made two significant worrying statements that the people of Ghana must know. To paraphrase her words, they intend to phase out the registration exercise in some 6,300 registration centers out of the 33,000 registration centers across the country. That troubles my heart because Article 42 will not be observed in essence through making available to Ghanaian people a legitimate and guaranteed right they are entitled to under Article 42. Phase out registration exercise not absolute, not countrywide, not in every registration center, and not in the 333,000 gazetted, gazetted polling stations. So it means that the number they are given today contradicts what has been officially gazetted. With regards to the use of the national ID card in the registration process, the minority leader says he feels worried about the future of the exercise since the EC has refused to use the data collected by the National Identification Authority for verification of persons who present the national ID as requirements for the voter registration. The second matter which is even more worrying. She does not seem to understand the essence of data synchronization and data harmonization. In her answers to a simple question, she stated, I'm paraphrasing again, they do not intend to use the data of the national identification authority. So what will they do with national ID card? Any person works there, no opportunity for verification, no opportunity for authentication. She emphasized that they will use it only for purpose of identity, that you are a citizen of that. So she does not understand what it means to share data, to synchronize and to harmonize the data. If any of you have a Ghana card, the chip in it, if you build it into a dedicated and a well-built software and hardware, your bio data must necessarily show up and you should be able to verify and authenticate it at that police station. I do not see a cooperation and I do not see a collaboration even though that has been made an essential primary reference document. But her assurance is that they would accept it only for purpose of identity that you are a Ghanaian, not the use of the data already processed and stored. Therefore, I feel very concerned 
about the future of that exercise. Meanwhile, the EC has, on 2nd June 2020, carried out a pilot voter registration exercise in all Ghana's 16 regional capital. The mass registration exercise is expected to begin on 30th June 2020.